Playmaker Noise Troubleshooting. If your Playmaker satellite antenna is making a persistent noise when trying to search, this video will help you troubleshoot that issue. The main cause of this issue is insufficient power to the antenna. This can be caused by the coax cable, coach wiring, issues in the receiver, and in rare cases, issues with the antenna. To begin, make sure you are using no more than 50 feet of RG6 coax cable. The coax cable should not be running through any RV wiring. RV wiring can be unreliable when it comes to providing consistent power on the coax line. If you continue to experience the persistent noise after bypassing the coach wiring and you are using a coax cable less than 50 feet in length, remove the dome cover from the antenna. You will need a T20 Torx driver to remove the six screws holding the dome in place. With the dome cover removed, locate the amber light indicated here. If that light is steady, skip to the timecode on the screen. If the light is flickering, connect the antenna to the receiver using the factory provided 25 foot coax cable. While you may require a longer coax length to get a signal lock, we need to determine what is causing the current noise issue. If the light is still flickering after using the factory provided 25 foot coax cable, a voltage test will need to be done to verify the antenna is receiving the required minimum 12 volt DC power. If the antenna starts searching properly, skip to the timecode listed below. If the light goes solid, but the antenna still makes a persistent noise when trying to search, skip to the timecode below. To test voltage, disconnect the coax cable from the base of the antenna. Set your digital voltmeter to a DC setting higher than 12. Touch the red probe of the meter to the center pin coming out of the coax cable, and the black probe to the outside nut on the cable. If the voltage drops below 12 volt DC, skip to the timecode listed below. If the required minimum 12 volt DC is available on the coax cable, but the light inside the dome is still flickering, the antenna would need to be replaced. If the light is steady and the antenna makes a persistent noise when trying to search, disconnect the coax cable. Manually rotate the antenna as far as it will go in a clockwise rotation. Then rotate the antenna as far as it will go in a counterclockwise rotation. Reconnect the coax cable and the antenna will search normally. If the antenna searches properly with a factory provided coax cable but you need a longer length of cable you can purchase our cable extender kit which includes a power inserter and 50 foot coax cable. Please call Weingard Customer Support at 800-288-8094 to order that kit. If sufficient voltage is not reaching the end of the coax cable, a voltage test out of the receiver is needed. Disconnect the coax cable from the back of the receiver. Insert a paper clip or safety pin into the center hole on the coax port of the receiver. Touch the red probe of the meter to the paper clip or safety pin and the black probe to the threads on the port. If you are getting a minimum of 12 volt DC reading out of the receiver, the original cable has failed and needs to be replaced. If you do not get a minimum of 12 volt DC reading out of the receiver, the receiver will need to be replaced. If the receiver was included in the box with your Playmaker antenna or purchased directly from Weingard, it is warranted for one year by Weingard. Please call Weingard customer support or email help at weingard.com to facilitate the one year warranty on the receiver. If the coax cable has failed, you can purchase a replacement 25 foot coax cable on our website. The replacement part number for the coax cable is a CX0625.